as you see the sign that says it's Miller time. We're actually Miller racing, and we're gonna find out why. <laughs> okay, guys, we're looking at a 1967 Chevy 2 uh, Nova. Yeah, these things were popular. And the thing is, this thing here is a four-door, not a two-door, a four-door. So it's a nice little sedan that you could put your family in and drive around. It still has some type of power for fun. But you could just drive around and enjoy the car and enjoy the trip wherever it was you was going, you know. You didn't have to have much with this car. As you can see, it has the Nova sign right there, you know. And this thing here is a survivor of time. You know, I don't see too many dings in it. I don't see too much damage. Now, it's got its little scrapes and nicks and that here, but it's a 67. So, you know. This thing here, I don't think it's dual exhaust. I just see the singular exhaust. And you do the seats, the chrome bumper on the back, the nice trunk lid, and everything else. I mean, this is a nice find. This car is sitting pretty straight, and all the lines are pretty well intact. So you don't have, if it was restoration, you don't have too much out of order. You know, you do find a little something here and there. It's like down there. You see a little bit of rust, condensation rust there, but surface rust. You know, the thing is, this car here, I like it for it to be a four-door, a Chevy Nova. And um, these things, you can hook them up. And matter of fact, this thing has a 350 with a 350 automatic. So as we look a little further, let's look into the passenger side. And you see this bench. The thing is, these benches, they were nice and comfortable, man. Only problem was it was just together and if you needed to move back, if you're a tall person, the taller person in the back would suffer. So all tall people had to sit up front. All shorter people had to sit in the back. So if you didn't like the person sitting next to you, well, you were screwed for the trip. <laughs> Let's look in the back. And this thing had a nice amount of room down there for to be a four door and a bench, you know. And the thing is, it's a nice comfortable back seat. That's why I said with these cars, you had a nice amount of room to take a good trip in it and still be comfortable. Let's look at the driver's side. Okay, as we look at the driver's side, I'm looking at it. I do see 120 on the uh, speedometer dash. I'm looking at the dashboard again. And somebody threw a little extra gauge of tech in here. So evidently they hooked it up with that shifter that's on the floor. They done a little something to this thing and make it a little bit more powerful so that you had this thing up in Gateway Classic Cars. As you can see, the C has a tear in it, but you can mend that, you know, that's nothing to mend, you know. As we look back, you can see the headliner is still in excellent condition, going around from the back to the front. And you see in this side of the back rear bench, this car is pretty solid and well kept, you know. So the thing is, I think it's a good find. Now, whether you think it's a good buy, that's up to you. As we walk around and we look at this information board, we're gonna find out what all it has on here. And it's saying 1957 Chevy Nova, uh, 350 automatic with a 350 um, automatic uh, transmission, gold and gold. And it says 29,000 undocumented miles, four door. And as you can see the price there, what they're asking for it as is. Sitting here at Gateway Classic Cars in, in Crete, Illinois, give them a call.